Hello, Internet. This is Bone Carlos coming to you live from the Criterion Building to bring you another vlog type thing. Uh, before we get started to today's topic, I'd like to point out that my giveaway is still underway. Details in the description alongside with a new hint. Uh, also, if there's a specific topic you guys want me to talk about, anything, anything at all, leave a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to oblige. Today, I have two topics at hand, and one of them is going to be uh, game balance. And uh, two is going to be uh, the perception of people playing video games. So uh, I base, I'm just going to go ahead and go into the more novel type uh, topic and talk about game balance. And this sprung about from the fact that uh, trying to put my video out there on different types of threads and forums and video game uh, chat systems. Uh, the main, the first initial response that I got was that I was instantly bad for using a Type 95. Now, um... I believe the term was insta bad, and judging someone just because of the type of weapon that you use is just idiotic in and of itself. So I'm not even going to touch that. Uh, but what really, and what I started thinking, and what I started just going through my head is why people have this type of mentality. And uh, what I came up with is people are going to complain about weapons that that kill them, that kill them repeatedly. So people are going to complain about weapons that uh, a lot of other people use, and the reason that I notice and the, the just the things that just crossed through my head is why people use a type 95 so what i came up with was that the type 95 even though it is a strong weapon it, it's geared more towards uh close to mid-range battles i'm talking of course about the two uh burst fire weapons the m16 and the type 95 i'm just using these two as a basis right now uh and what I noticed is that the Type 95 is, like I said before, geared more towards close to mid-range battle. And the reason, re my reasoning for this is that the bullet crusher on the Type 95 is a little bit more spread out compared to the M16. So placing those uh, shots at a distance with the Type 95 is a lot more difficult than with the M16. Now, grouping this together and figuring out, okay, well, why, why do people use uh, the Type 95? Why? Well, it, it goes back to the fact that the, the the map types the map types like I've said before are a little bit tighter a little bit smaller uh, have less long range line of sights com uh, than compared to a lot of other f uh, video games or a lot of other first person shooters so people are naturally going to gravitate towards the Type 95 if you use the M16 you're going to notice it has a slower rate of fire than the Type 95 I mean by using it and uh, the bullet spread is a lot tighter so that ma that tells me that it's going to be used for more long range shots but not given the opportunity of uh, taking full advantage of that, people are naturally going to gravitate towards the Type 95. Um, but still, both weapons have their pros and cons, and this goes back to uh, game balance. And what I'm going to talk about here is just the assault rifle class, or the assault, assault rifle category. In Modern Warfare 3, there are currently six fully automatic uh, assault rifles. Uh, there's two t uh, burst fire, like I just said, and there's also one semi-automatic. Now, uh, what this what this game is doing is basically just giving you variety, and with variety comes uh, more difficulty to a greater difficulty to completely balance these out and make everything perfect. Uh, the obvious examples would be uh, StarCraft and uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. StarCraft has three options uh, available for you just three now my, a lot of people might say that this is low amount of variety but this also means that it's very much easier to balance uh, the three races out and in my opinion Starcraft Starcraft and Starcraft 2 is a very well balanced game I know you go on the threads and the boards and all that stuff people are still gonna complain just because they lose them it's, it's just natural you know but overall uh, the three races are balanced conversely you take a look at Modern Warfare 2 and oh, any type of balance is just thrown out the window. There's like 60 some odd, 50 some odd characters to choose from. And a, a lot of them, a few of them, quite a few are actually joke uh, characters. But a lot of them do have uh, their pros. But are just over, completely overshadowed by the more higher tiered uh, choices that you have available. There's only about 6, 7, 8, 9 tops that you actually want to legitimately try out. So... What Modern Warfare 3 is doing is somewhere in between. It wants to give you enough of a variety of choices to make you feel like you have a variety of choices, but not so much that uh, to the, these weapons are a little bit unbalanced. And in my opinion, most weapons, most of these weapons are unbalanced. There's a bit of a redundancy, redundancy in the assault rifle category. What I would do is I would take out one of the fully automatic ones and make it a semi-automatic one. Maybe take out uh, probably one of the, like, either the AK, the FAD, the SCAR, 
or the ACR. One of those four, uh, take them out and make it a, a make a, bring in another semi-automatic assault rifle just to balance it out just a little bit more and give you a little bit more of a variety type feel. But that's just me and I'm getting a little bit off topic. But uh, that's just what I want to talk about with regarding video game balance and knowing that there's two sides of the coin. If you guys want a great amount of balance in your in your game, it's going to require a less degree of variety. And conversely, if you want more variety, it's going to put a strain on the balance type things. So that was it. If you guys have any questions about that, shoot them down below. Let me know what you guys think. What I the second part of my uh, vlog type thing is something that happened to me a couple of, I would say a couple of weeks ago. Probably last week. I was getting my hair cut and the hairstylist, and we were just chit-chatting back and forth. And she asked me, she's like, oh, so what do you like to do for fun? I gave her the, the, uh, the obvious choices, you know, movies, uh, uh, food. I like food. I love food. Uh, books, cars, just basic mumbo jumbo. You know, through this all, throughout this all, she was just, you know, she nodding her head saying, yeah, no big deal. And she wasn't really saying much. And then I finally said, oh, it's like, you know what? And I also like playing video games as well. And at this point, she kind of stops looking at me and is like, oh, so you're just a big kid. And what came out of my mouth is something that I've been saying for years. And that was the fact that it's like, yeah, I'm a big kid. And I have no really, I really don't have a problem with it. And she's like, hey, you know what? That's no problem. If you have no problem with it, neither do I. And when she was saying that, in my head, I thought, no way, I do have a problem with that. I do have a problem with it. And I do have an issue with you calling me a big kid just because I choose to play uh, video games. You know? And the reason being is that I'm an adult. I, even though my age, technically I'm an adult. I'm 25. I do, or 26. I'm 26 now. Jesus, man, I'm old. Um, I'm an adult. Even though I am an adult, I still have bills to pay. I hold down a full-time job. Uh, 40 hours a week, I take care of things around the house. Uh, I fix anything that's broken, and I pay my bills on time. This makes me an adult. And just because of the fact that I choose to do something... Anything at all doesn't make me a certain type of thing. Would you uh, say someone that plays fantasy football a kid just because they're playing a kid's sport? Not really. No. Would you say someone is a kid because they do decide to play a trading card game? Not really. It depends on the individual at hand. Yes, there are adults out there that are my age that are still living at home, don't work still have their meals prepared for them, their parents or their mom, parents, whoever it is, still cleans up after them and they do nothing, they contribute nothing. Yeah, those guys are big kids because that's the definition of a kid. Having zero responsibilities and enjoying the perks. Now, there are uh, teenagers out there, 10, 11, 12, those aren't really teenagers, 13, 14, 15, 16 year olds that are out there working because they need to help support their families. Uh, a couple of months ago, I read of a, of a, of a kid, a senior, who what ha held down three jobs while still going to high school so he could pay for his mom's uh, I think it was either dialysis or cancer treatments one of the two and he helped her pay for all that by holding on three jobs now it is something suffered along the way and he had a lot uh, uh quite a few absences i think it was like 12 or 13 absences and because he had that many he wasn't allowed to walk the stage because he was one too many act uh one too many so would I call that guy a kid? Not really. That guy is an adult with adult responsibilities and is still trying to manage to hold them all down and take every, every, every single uh, end uh, that was thrown his way. So, um, that's pretty much what my stance is and from now on. I'm not going to say, yeah, I'm a big kid. No, I'm saying, he's like, you know what? No, I'm an adult. I have, you know, I, I pay my bills on time. I have an apartment. I pay that. I'm working on getting a home. Congrats on that. Uh, and I play video games. Just because I play video games doesn't make me a big kid. And uh, I want to just pass that along to you guys. Just get away from this per perpetuation uh, of childishness that is associated with video games. That's just it. Uh, I'm not going to go into much because I pretty much said everything I want to say. I hope you guys enjoyed. If not, leave a comment down below on what I could do to make these more enjoyable for you. Uh, also, if there's, like I said before, if there's something that you guys want me to talk about, just leave a comment down below. It could be anything, anything at all. I'll talk about Bruce Lee versus uh, Mike Tyson and what I was doing in a zombie apocalypse in the past couple of weeks. And I hope to get some more uh, suggestions like that in the future. Uh, well, that's it. The time is 3 p.m. Coming to you live from the WNYX News Team. This is Bone Carlos signing off.